Hello. I wonder, have you got anything to help with this? With what? There's nothing there. <laughs> That's really funny. I know. Do you have a cure for boldness? Uh, yep, sir. Certainly, I can mix you up a cure. Let me just check and see if I've got the right ingredients. Great. Let's have a look. So, I need the fat of a hippo. Check. The fat of a tomcat. Check. And the fat... Oh, dear. I seem to be missing some ingredients. What's up? I need the fat of a snake. I've got one living in my grain store. Shall I go and see if it's there? Yeah, great. OK, thank you. See you in a sec. Yeah. Ah! Oh! oh! Found him. Oh, thank you. Right. Mm. All I need now is the fat of a Nubian ibex. As in an ibex that lives on the lands of our mortal enemies, the Nubians. Yes, indeed. Great. Well, I'll just go and... It's your head, mate. Cheers. You know. I spilled my snake fat. You'd have had to go and get some more. All I need now is some crocodile fat. Do you think we could not do this one at a time? Just give me the whole list now. That's it. All we need is crocodile fat and we're done. You sure? Absolutely. Yeah. <sighs> crocodile. Well done. Yep. We've there. Uh... Oh, no. I forgot to read the other side of the list. We need lion fat. Do you sell wigs? Do you heart cats? Then you love I Love Cats magazine. Because we ancient Egyptians don't just love cats, we worship them, literally. Don't miss our special offer on Moggy Mummification. When your beloved pussycat passes on, why not treat them to their own special sarcophagus? Perfect. You'll love our special report on the Festival of Bastet, Goddess of Cats. 700,000 visited her temple at Babastis, honouring her by singing and dancing and drinking loads and loads of wine. Festival of Bath, that's brilliant. Meow. And don't miss this month's special feature on hunting with cats. Find out how I taught my cat how to help me hunt. All I have to do is throw this boomerang and try and catch a flying bird. Yes, got one. Now Tiddles will help me retrieve it. Tiddles, fetch. Go on, Tiddles, fetch. The... No, you're going the wrong way. She needs a bit more training. I wish you were a dog. Oh, every time. Catastrophe. And enter this month's cat caption competition and you could win a cat pendant, which comes with a lifetime guarantee of protection from the cat goddess herself. Check out last month's winner. Broken has mummification. So buy I Love Cats magazine. Out meow. Yours for three cloves of garlic or one clove of garlic if you're good at bartering.
pictures. No pictures. Great. Look, I don't care if we are the elite of the Persian army. I don't fancy our chances against the Egyptians. I mean, look at them. There must be thousands of them. Relax, man. We're being led by Cambyses the Conqueror, the Butcher of Memphis. Imagine how many Egyptians you got to kill to get a nickname like that. Besides, I've heard we've got a secret weapon, too. Warriors! With our new secret weapon, we shall be invulnerable. I present the weapon that will defeat the Egyptians. Right, um, does it explode? No, it's just a cat. It works like this. Present cat! You see? We're gonna get creamed. The shooting! Let's get out of here! Wait! Allow me a chance to demonstrate how our secret cat weapon works. Ridiculous. Present cat! It stopped. Well, they're actually retreating. How does it work? Simples. Egyptians love cats. They have cat cults, cat festivals, whole cities dedicated to cats. They wouldn't dare risk hurting one. As long as we hold the cats between us and them, they shan't dare attack. You do realize there's one problem with your plan. What's that? What if you're allergic? <laughs> Sorry, you've got a really weird sneeze. Yeah, I know. Sounds like you're just saying wazoo. <laughs> Sounds like wazoo. It's wazoo. Extraordinary. Please stop it. Stop it. Wazoo. <laughs> This season, treat yourself to the all-in-one Ancient Egyptian Beauty Set. Eyeliner, face makeup and moisturiser in one easy-to-use pack. It's got to be only for men. What? Men? That's right. It's got everything an Egyptian man needs to look his best. Stunning black lead eyeliner, luscious clay makeup for cheeks and lips, and there's more. Buy the Only For Men Beauty Kit today and get this Only For Men Leg Hair Removal Cream absolutely free. Only for men. Yes, with our new improved formula of oil, bird bones, cucumber and gum. Now with the added fly done, you can make embarrassing leg hair a thing of the past. Simply heat the cream, apply it to the affected area and wait for it to set. Then pull it off, bringing all the unwanted hair with it. Ah! Just look at the difference. Before, no pain. After, lots of pain. Only for men. Look like a man with the Only for Men Ancient Egyptian Beauty Set. Only for men. Only for men. Now that's what I call macho. Does my bottom look big in this? Only for men. This week on Don't Tell the Corpse, we meet Fadil, who's been given the challenge of planning the funeral of his wife's relative. But does she think he'll be able to pull it off? I do hope Fadil thinks of everything for me Uncle Amon's journey into the afterlife. But he didn't like me Uncle much. Actually, if I'm honest, nobody liked him. With no previous experience of organising funerals, Fadil has enlisted the help of ancient Egyptian funeral planner, Totmos. And if it's mummification you're after, we've processes to suit every budget. At the top end, you can have the deceased intestines removed by a professional embalmer. At the bottom end, so to speak, we can dissolve their guts with the injection of cedar oil. You know, right up the... Yeah, yeah thank you. I'd worked that out already. I think we'll go with the professional embalmer. Excellent choice. Sorry. I don't know why I'm saying sorry, he's dead. Fadil has nearly blown all his budget on embalming alone, and there's still loads to sort out. Oh, no! Uncle Alvin! I cannot be... There, there, love. Don't, don't cry. It's going to be all right. That'll do, Bissette. Huh? She's one of our professional mourners. You can hire them for the funeral. Uncle Alvin, bring it back! Well, she certainly is very convincing. Our professional mourners can make even the most loathsome individual seem popular. I'll take half a dozen. Good choice. With the congregation hired, Fadil must now buy items to put in Uncle Amon's tomb for his journey to the afterlife. Now, what do you get for the corpse who's got everything? I bet he hasn't got one of these. It wasn't a child. She'll kill me if I buy him a toy. This is no toy. This is the very latest in underworld transport. In the afterlife, it turns into a full-size boat, and these model slaves become real slaves to do the hard work for you. Wow. I'll take it. Right, that's that sorted. And the journey is a long one. He'll be needing some food. This mummified meat comes in its own coffin. Oh, all right, but that's definitely it. Wax hair gel, specially made for mummies. The afterlife is forever. You want your uncle to look his best. Well, I didn't actually like him that much, but, you know... Mummified cats, they're very popular. You shabty dolls. <laughs> Musical instruments. Magical bricks. Finally, it's the day of the funeral, but will Fadil's wife approve of his choices? And will her unpopular uncle get the send-off he deserves? Well, Fadil, you've actually done a great job. To think I thought Uncle Amon was really unpopular. This is his burial chamber. Uncle Amon had a massive ornate burial tool made for himself over there. We're going the wrong way. 
Oh, no, there's been a slight change of plan. You see, I rather like the look of Uncle Amon's tomb, so I thought we'd move him to this smaller underground hole, and then we can have his one when we die. If we steal his tomb, won't all his friends be furious? Oh, no, no, no that's not a problem. No, watch this. OK, thanks very much, everyone. You can go now. All the best. Oh, right, I see. Well, in that case, let's bung him in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm King Peppy the Second, but you can call me Pharaoh. Now I love Egypt. I've ruled the place since the age of six for crying out loud. But if there's one thing that drives me mad about this country, it's all these pesky flies. But you get gone, vomit! <coughs> it was driving me crazy! Until I invented this! Oh, a King Peppy super sticky anti-fly honey sleeve. Those pesky flies can't get enough of that sweet sticky stuff, and I am talking honey. In fact, they're so busy flying around him that there are no flies on me. No Egyptian household is complete without one. I got one in every room, and I got a lot of rooms. It's easy. Take one sleeve, cover him in honey, and enjoy hours of fly-free relaxation. So don't delay to keep those flies away. Get your King Peppy Super Sticky Anti-Fly Honey Slave today. Available from all good slave traders. Honey and flies not included. If you think Pharaoh's lives were crazy, the deaths were even crazier. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine the first time someone thought of being buried in a pyramid? Uh, it sort of reared up and then okay. everything's for he's here. Oh, greetings, mighty Pharaoh. Ruler of all Egypt. As requested, O oh Pharaoh, we have laid plans for your burial. Ah, excellent. I must prepare for my journey to the afterlife and rebirth as a god. Yeah. So, what we thought for the grave was this. ta -da! Simple, yet effective. Hmm. Obviously, we'll do the lettering in gold. Gentlemen, I don't think you quite get the idea. Oh, really? I was thinking of something a little bigger. No problem, we could get a bigger stone. B bigger stone? Two and a half tons. That's pretty heavy. And not just one. Don't tell me. You want three. I was thinking two and a half million. <laughs> two and a half million? What are you going to do with all those? Pile them all up on top of each other or something? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? It'd be ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Forming a huge four sided pyramid, 230 metres wide and 146 metres high. Um, right, so, sorry. How would we move the stones? Well, we could transport them in boats when the Nile is flooded. How are we going to get them 146 metres into the air? Boring. You'll think of something. Uh, can't you have a nice gravestone? No! I am Pharaoh. I don't want what everyone else has. I want a mighty monument worthy of the gods. Now just get on with it! Honestly, is a pain. Tell me about it. In Britain, they simply cover people up with great mounds of earth. We, you know, we should just go there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, weather's not so hot, mind. Of Egyptian kings, we know oh so many things, cos the archaeologists have dug their tombs. Now we're here to show how to treat a dead pharaoh. Make a mummy that can decorate your room. First your dead king's lain on a table where his brain Is pulled out with a wire through his nose Then his guts and lungs, stomach, liver must be bunged In four jars so they do not decompose Pour out salt to dry on the body, let it lie There for forty days until it mummifies <laughs> In the bandage wrap, up the body, leave a gap For the mouth and pop in artificial eyes Hello! In the coffin cold, lay out prayers and little scrolls That will guard him on his journey far ahead Pack his tomb with wealth, which he'll need for his health If he makes it to the country of the dead Done your job, there are villains who will rob, so our mummy and its coffin we defend. Build a pyramid high so it points up to the sky, place your dead king deep inside, and that's the end. 
Hey girls, do you want to keep up to date with all the latest ancient Egyptian trends in makeup, hair and fashion? Then you need to get new Pharaoh Fashion Magazine. In this week's issue, we'll show you the hottest, and we mean hottest, new hair accessories. I love my new wax comb. It's so stylish. I'm never taking it off. Because I can't. It's melted into my hair. Ow! Really hot. And bold new hair fashions. Don't follow the flock. Wear a sheep's wool wig. I look beautiful. Plus, this season's must-have makeup. There's luscious lipstick made from red powder. Mixed with fat. And fabulous eyeliner made from black lead. It also works as a sunblock and fly deterrent. And I thought I looked ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, you do. <laughs> <laughs> and we reveal the very latest fashion from ancient Egypt. And you thought you had nothing to wear. Yes, you too can go naked like an ancient Egyptian peasant. So for all the latest from the world of Egyptian fashion, don't miss Pharaoh Fashion Magazine. Yours to buy for only three radishes and two onions. She was Hatshepsut, pharaoh of ancient Egypt. She had power, she had riches, she had everything a great pharaoh needed. Except a beard. Sorry, a what? A beard. A beard? Yes. The pharaoh was meant to be the god Horus in human form, and Horus was a bloke, so you wore a fake beard to look like a bloke. Oh, are you, are you sure about that? Yes, quite sure. Here we go. Hatshepsut wore a false beard and dressed in men's clothes. Hang on, what? You dressed in men's clothes. Don't blame me. That's like just what you did. Oh, that's ridiculous. Hatshepsut, the queen who would be king, took the throne from her stepson and reigned over Egypt for 22 years until she disappeared in mysterious whoa, whoa, circumstances. Whoa, whoa, what? Her monuments destroyed and her name erased from history. Stop, 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 stop. What happened to me? You were murdered. Probably by your stepson. He was pretty annoyed about the whole throne stealing incident. Right, that's it. Where are you going? Oh, you can keep your clothes and the whole pharaoh thing. Sounds far too dangerous for me. What about the beard? Oh, I'm keeping the beard. I think it really suits me. This week on Historical Wife Swap, these Egyptian peasants will be doing a wife swap with Pharaoh Ramesses II and his wife Nefertari. So how will these different ancient Egyptian couples get on? Oh, uh, who are you? Mrs Pharaoh. Shouldn't you be at my house? Mrs Pharaoh is at your house. I'm Mrs Pharaoh number two. Ramesses II's got six wives. A bit greedy. And 200 girlfriends. I am the great pharaoh, born of Ra, chosen of Ra, for powerful is the truth of Ra. Half king, half god, master of all I survey, Ramesses II, glory be to my name. And you are... Susan. An honor for you to meet me. So what will Nefertari, the pharaoh's number one wife, make of Mr. Peasant? Oh, uh, your majesty. Get up, peasant. But don't look at me. Oh, what's that terrible smell? Could be me, Your Majesty. Oh. I've been dragging two-ton boulders round the desert to help build your husband's temple. No, you do stink, peasant, but it's much worse than that. Oh, could be the gazelle dong I've put on the floor. Oh, what oh. oh, earth would you do that? Keeps the rats away oh, from food. Rats. Oh. Or it could be the walls. They're made of manure. And the Nile flooded the hut last month, so there's still a bit of house I put it. Sweaty. I can tell I'm going to just love it here. Great. Meanwhile, over at the palace, it's dinner time. Here, peasant, try one of these. What is it, my pharaoh? Locust and honey. That's delicious. Ooh, oh, I think I'm going to grab an early night. I have to be up before the sun comes up. Well, obviously I do. I'm the one who gets the sun up. I've done a joke. <laughs> That's more like it. You won't believe this. The royal palace has got beds with comfy pillows made of stone and a sort of seat thing that you sit on to go to the toilet. What will they think of next? And it's also dinner time in the peasant hut. Oh, 
Sorry, Your Majesty. We do get a lot of mosquitoes. That's the downside of living near the Nile. The plus side is that the Nile floods, so the soil here is very fertile. And when it does flood, we farmers get a few months off to go to the desert and drag around two ton borders for the pharaoh. Ow! Well, at least it gets you away from all these mosquitoes. And, and nearer the deadly scorpions. <laughs> do you not want your onion? Don't look at Sorry. me! You're not going to believe where I had to sleep. On some straw? On the floor. Yeah, that's right. On the floor with all the gazelle poop. I swear I've got nits. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, look, look, there's one. I'll have to throw this wig away. The wife swap is at an end, and it's time for the royal couple and the peasant couple to discuss their experiences. I understand you've been helping build my temple, the Ramesseum. What an honor for you. How looks the 19 meter statue of me? Oh, it is magnificent, Pharaoh. Although not as impressive as the real thing. Ah, your work is done, but I have some good news for you. I would like you to build another massive temple alongside for my favorite wife. <laughs> oh, Rami, baby, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, you want one too, do you? <sighs> Don't book any holidays. We did actually discuss this, Rami. Did we? I yes. don't remember. Well, you had a lot of palm wine to drink. Well, you don't speak up. Do you think we can get up now, love? I wouldn't risk it. No. Hi, I'm a shouty man, and I'm here to tell you about all-purpose ancient Egyptian mummy. Here in the 1800s, mummies are being dug up all over the place. But don't throw them away. Make use of them today! Are your walls looking old and tired? Then let Ancient Egyptian Mummy lend a hand. Just crush some mummy into a powder, add it to your paint, and watch those nasty cracks disappear. And just look at the results. This magnificent mummy filler is available in three colors. Dirty white, off-white, and slightly gray. And that's not all. Ancient Egyptian mummy also gets the thumbs up as a great fuel for fire. And it won't cost you an arm or a leg. Toasty. Plus, if you're feeling a little run down, Ancient Egyptian mummy is the perfect pick-me-up. Simply crush some mummy into a powder and dab it all over. It's got magical healing powers. <coughs> See? It's working already! You can do it all with all-purpose ancient Egyptian mummy. It makes an excellent present because it comes pre-wrapped. Ancient Egyptian mummy. Dig one up today. Available in all good ancient Egyptian burial grounds. Spade not included. And so I die. Thank you, my wonderful slaves, for taking care of my every need. Mighty Pharaoh. Yeah. It has been our privilege to serve. And we shall all miss you as you take your journey to the afterlife. What? No, you won't. You're coming with me. Guards, sacrifice my slaves and bury them in here with me. You're killing us all after everything we've done for you. Well, who else is going to take care of all my things in the afterlife? Guards! But it's so unfair. There must be some other way. There is! I'm a shouty man! Are you an Egyptian pharaoh on your deathbed? Are you starting to think that sacrificing real people might just be a little bit unfair? Then try new Egyptian Yushabdi dolls, the slaves you can have buried with you without having to kill anyone first. That sounds excellent. What, little dolls? That's right. These beautiful handcrafted figurines will magically turn into actual servants to look after your every need in the afterlife. And there's hundreds of different ones to collect. Yushabdi butler. Yushabdi builder. Yushabdi tailor. Do these look my size? And you shabdy shepherd of the royal backside to wipe your majestic bum. How does this work? My, that's first class. You shabdy coffin doors. You wouldn't want to die without them. You shabdy dolls may not actually work, but it's hard to get your money back when you're dead. And this room you are just going to love, mighty pharaoh. Very impressive. So basically, this is the main living area mm -hmm. for when you're dead. So I suppose it's the non-living area. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, and it's fitted with everything you could possibly want in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. There's a luxury coffin, king size, of course, mm -hmm. and an ensuite toilet. Will I need a toilet? It's just that they will take out my stomach and intestines when they turn me into a mummy. Well, all the best pyramids have them. Mm -hmm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Now, 
There aren't any rats in here, are there? I can't abide rats. Yeah, I can assure you, Mrs. Pharaoh, the only rats in here are mummified. Ah, <laughs> well, that'll give something for the cats to chase, won't it? <laughs> <coughs> yes. Mm. Isn't it lovely? Mm. Well, I'm glad you like it. After all, when I die, they'll bury you in here with me, alive. <laughs> oh, you're so romantic. <laughs> Now, now, through there, there's even a servant's wing with plenty of room for the staff that will be slaughtered to look after you in the afterlife. Including the royal bottom wiper? Well, especially the royal bottom wiper. Excellent. <laughs> Just one final question. Yeah, far away. What's crime like in this area? I've heard there are a few tomb raiders knocking about. Your untold riches are more than safe here, my illustrious pharaoh. Mm. All the entrance passageways are a complex maze of dead-end corridors, mm. secret sliding keystones and trapdoors. Nobody is getting in here. <sighs> well, he's just... Yeah. Happy? <laughs> OK, we'll <Yeah>. take it. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Right this way. Mm. Oh. Uh, no, 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 I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the secret sliding keystone is here. Somewhere. Oh, oh, was it the trap door? <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, the ceiling. Uh. <laughs> New to based on reality computer games comes the real Tomb Raider. Yes, discover Egyptian tombs as they were really discovered. Select your real Tomb Raider. Not real, select again. Not real, select again. You have selected. Lord George Edward Stanhope Molyneux Herbert, the 5th Earl of Carnarvon, a genuine archaeologist. Real Tomb Raider features all the tools that were really used. Select tool. Not real, select again. Not real, select again. You have selected a small brush. OK, real Tomb Raiders, we're off. Using all your skills, guide your adventurer to scrape through sand and... Oh, brush the dust off some disappointing bits of old pottery. Or perhaps you'll discover a whole new tomb. Although it might take a while. About 20 years, probably. With no zombies, no mummies coming back to life. In fact, no monsters at all. The real Tomb Raider. Not much fun, but it's what it was really like. Your grade one pyramid selling Yeah, the time has come for me to drum Some facts into you about spelling Oh, it seems to me your ABC Skills are less than terrific So buck up, boys, as we master the joys Of the lovely hieroglyphic Woo! Everyone needs the ABC It's as simple as vulture foot basket You know how to sing, do, re, mi Easy to spell, it's hand, eye, thingy, owl. A, B, C. Vulture foot basket. Do, re, mi. Hand, eye, thingy, owl. You'll pass with ease and find it's a breeze. The rules are scientific. Don't have to be smart, all you do is start with simple phonetic glyphics. Next you get two letters a set. Morphemes called logographic. Finally third, the form of a word, determinatives. Horrific! Everyone needs their flamingo house son. It's simple, but son can mean duck, everyone. You all know how to write your name. Except for me, Tutanefertiti Carmen. Flamingo house son. Me stuck to son. Tutanefertiti Carmen. Let's leave that one. If you find it hard, don't be afraid to go and ask your mummy for aid. Now it's time for a spelling bee. That's not how you spell B. See me. Foot, read, read, easy. Cat, pig, dog, rat, dog, frog. Make your spelling magnific. You can go up and down, left and right and around. No punctuation in hieroglyphic. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Just 700 characters or so. Now that's done, let's have some fun with numbers. Here we go. Everyone needs their one, two, three. It's as simple as I, 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 I. You can all count to 99. Easy to write, it's hoop, 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 hoop. I, 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 I. One, two, three. I, 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 I,
Stonemason, yeah? Right, go and join the crew working on the Sphinx. Cheers, mate. Oh, I can't wait. Imagine actually being part of the team that builds Egypt's brand new capital city, Paramesis, from virtually nothing. Seven square miles of mansions, temples, canals, lakes, statues and houses for 300,000 people. I hope I get on a pyramid team. All right, Pharaoh statue. Cheers, mate. Or a needle. Some of those needles are amazing. 50 foot high, 200 tons. I can't wait to tell everyone back home about this. Temple of Ra. Thanks, mate. Next. All right, Chief. I am raring to go, so just put a hammer in my hand and point me in the direction of the... Horse toilets. Horse toilets? Horse toilets. Horse toilet. Yeah, it's where horses go... I know go what it is, mate. I left my family hundreds of miles away and walked here. I, I had to hire slaves to look after my farm so I could be part of Ramesses II's magnificent project. And you want me to build a... Horse toilet. I'd be a laughing stock. There's nothing wrong with building a horse toilet, right? Come and have a look at the first one we've done. Look at that. Yeah? Years of engineering and genius have gone into designing that. Yeah? The pillars hold the horse in place, perfectly positioning it so it can do its business in the hole. Imagine it, yeah? The Pharaoh's cavalry. 10,000 horses all going to the toilet at once in front of us. <laughs> I'd rather not. Yeah, well, not only is it cleaner, but we're also collecting all the horse we to help tan the leather, to make the armour, the weapons. Your horse toilet, mate, is helping make Egypt the powerhouse of the world. I'd never thought of it like that. These horse toilets are amazing. I'll do it. Good on you, mate. Thanks. Only if anyone asks. Oh, I'll tell him you're working on the Sphinx. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Ta da. All right. All right. We can get started. Oh, horses only. Oh, sorry. Unbelievable. You are looking at your own brand new, state of the art, cutting edge burial tomb. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You just can't see it. You're fired. Hmm? No, 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 no. Look. It is there, it's just under the ground. Under the ground? What good does that do me? I'm a pharaoh! I'm an Egyptian god walking the earth. When I pass over into the afterlife, I want to be buried in a majestic golden pyramid 150 metres high. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Think about it. Your dad, they stuck him in a massive golden pyramid that all the grave robbers could see for miles around. And of course, they all came down and robbed his gold. And what do you think it was like for your poor old dad arriving there in the afterlife with no royal treasure? Embarrassing. What? It was embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Whereas, with this design, they won't even be able to find your tomb. The whole thing is buried under the desert. OK, well, it's not what I was expecting, but I asked you to build me a great royal tomb, and I suppose you built me a great royal tomb, so... Absolutely. <sighs> right. Well, thanks. Oh, and, um, here's your bonus. Um, there's nothing there. Oh, there is. You just can't see it. <gasps> Laters. And your host a talking rat. The past is no longer a mystery. Welcome to... Horrible Story